Hello Aviation Enthusiast! This video will cover outlines of Part 4 of Aircraft's Rules 1937 which deals with regulations surrounding the registration and marking of aircraft. Let's explore the key rules under Part 4 of Aircraft Rules. Let's begin with Rule 30, the Certificate of Registration. Every aircraft in India must have this certificate which legally binds the aircraft to its owner, confirming its compliances with aviation laws. Without it, no aircraft can fly. Moving to Rule 31. This part outlines the nature of application, whether you are registered our new aircraft or transferring ownership. All applications must be in all specified formats and submit to DGCA. Do you know that aircraft imported by air have specific provisions? Yes, Rule 32 covers the registration process for aircraft imported by air. This ensures proper documentation is completed when an aircraft enter India. Whereas Rule 32A deals with the export of aircraft. When an aircraft is being transported, it must be deregistered in India and all necessary export clearances should be obtained to ensure international compliances. What happens if you sail or transfer your aircraft? According to Rule 33, it in the event of an change in ownership, a new owner must notify the authorities immediately so the registration can be updated to reflect a new ownership. Whereas Rule 34 addresses situation where an aircraft is destroyed or withdrawn from use. When an aircraft is no longer in service, it must be officially deregistered with the DGCA to ensure that the records are accurate. Next, we have Rule 35 which deals with the registration fees depending on the type and the size of the aircraft where different fees are applicable. This must be paid when registration or renewing your aircraft certificate. Rule 36 talks about registered of aircraft. This is a master record maintained by DGCA listing every registered aircraft in India. It provides crucial data for safety and operational trackings. One of the most visible aspect is Rule 37 which details how nationality and the registration marking are affiliated to an aircraft. These markings must be displayed and prominently on the aircraft's fuselage and tail, which specify guidelines for size and placement. Rule 37A includes the use of state marks on certain aircraft. This implies to military, police and other government-owned aircraft which are exempt from regular civil registrations and carry distinct markings. 29E Mandatory Safety Reporting System DGC shall establish a mandatory safety reporting system to facilitate the collections of safety data and safety information on actual or potential safety deficiencies and specify the procedure for the same. So, overall, Part 4 of Aircraft Rules 1937 is essential for aviation enthusiasts, pilots and aircraft owners alike. Proper registrations and marking not only ensures legal compliances but also contribute to safety and accountability while flying. So what are you waiting for? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Innova World for more updates on aviation and aerospace.